Hey there, everybody. It's Bobo the Vulture. And I'm Zerfall. And Zerfall is ready as he'll ever be for Let's Play Together, even though it's a one-player game, Uncharted Waters 2 New Horizons Otto Baines' story. I'm as ready as I'll ever be to say that. Oh, hi, folks. Oh, hey. Oh, yes. man, I didn't even know you were recording a video today. Oh, yeah, no, I, uh, <laughs> I just had this up, and, you know, it's... These guys have been hanging out in Tunis for, well, the folks at home will be for days. Um, for the actual characters here, it'll be weeks that they've been spending just in <laughs> Tunis. Boy there, maybe we'll be shoving off. Now, let me first... How much of the fleet did we retain? Did we keep... Um, yeah, we kept food... Foods and waters? We kept agua, oh, agua. and meat. Yeah. We kept the agua on the meat. Uh, we still have Solaris, Randy, and Fools. So, that's good. We should look at the cargo in these. I have 32 gunpowder. Illiterate Scholar rightly pointed out that the gunpowder is not going to do me any good unless I decide I want to start firing at enemy vessels. That's very um, true. But you might one, you may one day very well do that. I might. I'll keep it there as little insurance in case of emergency. But uh, right now we're pretty well supplied. Let me make sure. We don't have any more space in the hole. Well, thank you, Captain Kirk. Oh, uh, wait there, maybe we'll be shoving off. Let's go ahead and sail. We can sail for 20 days. Nice. These food ships are making up for their existence. They, they might be... <laughs> Or I might be about to leave the port with, like, no crew. Oh, that could be true. I wonder if that's what's actually happening right now. No, these are no, full. No, we're doing good. And Meet Nagua have just enough guys to keep them rolling. Now, do we have a person who's better at driving boats to put in charge of the Agua so that uh, it gets a better speed? Um, let's, let's look at our seamen. Um, Antoine, Patrick Tillman is the first one. Agua was the one that was slow, was it? Yes. Or no, was it the meat? Oh, uh, Lawrence. I'm not uh, sure. I dare you impugn my sailing ability. Uh, no, I you know what? It must not have been him. Yeah, because I remember he had the fastest ship before. Oh, yeah, Alonzo. He's going to oh. be a little bit slow, generally speaking. Um, but Patrick Tillman... He's also he's also level eight, so maybe he should be the captain of meat, and Alonzo can just be the first mate. Will his exp will he level up in terms of sailing and navigation and all the rest of that stuff as first mate? Um, I'm not sure, but we could make him the lead navigator if not. Hmm. Yeah. I thought your first mate leveled up too. I think you're right, because Matthew will level up, won't he, if you only have one ship. Yeah. He'll still be like, yeah, I'm doing great. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's give Patrick a command. Let's change job duty. Oh, Alonzo is specifically not equipped for this. Oh, I can't select a <laughs> captain anyway. Um, I guess we did our way around. Yeah, fine. Uh, so complicated of controls. Alright, let's pick a new captain. Patrick. Yeah. Oh, it's Patrick. He's taking out life insurance. Good for you, son. <laughs> what? <laughs> there was a commercial in Canada back in the day where this dad sitting on the couch and an old older gentleman and his wife's next to him and the phone rings and he picks it up and says hello it's patrick he took out life insurance good for you son all in one go <laughs> <laughs> and you're like how did patrick convey that information to him so fast oh uh, uh, the meat's still gonna be the the weak link here uh, it's okay eight is still better than we used bad. to do yeah yeah um, it's just it's just too full of food. It can't move around that much anymore. It needs to just sit down for a minute. Well, we can save for 20 days. This year we'll cast off. Sure thing, buddy. So where were we even headed? We were trying to get 
We were it's trying to armor. get to uh, Istanbul, not Constantinople. Now it's Istanbul, not Constantinople. It's been a long time ago. Oh, it's Syracuse. That's cool. Um, we can go. Uh, the oh. wind. Run like the wind. Oh, we can sail for twenty days, and we can just look at uh, the. Did that ship there. just disappear? No, we're not in Bermuda. I think we're going to find a port when we get really close to the edge of this thing. Because I think a ship just went into a non-port zone. Hmm. You know, you might have been right, and yet... I think we might have nobody on lookout. Go no, to we the... got people on lookout, because we found the port of Syracuse. Oh, that's true. Man, I swear that ship just poofed. Oh, well. Hey. Its problems with gas are its own. All right, Candia. We're still doing pretty good here. Oh, there was a port up there that was already discovered. How do they not notice these other ports floating around? Nine days. We're halfway there. And by there, I mean to starvation. <laughs> we found Nicosia. Okay. That's now, good. When you, when you played as... Um, What's his name? Hans? Is Hans his name? Uh, Ernst. Ernst. Talking about Ernst von did Bohr. He dis did he discover one of the like the, the ports in the far north? I think he discovered there's a supply port in the far north. And I've gotten off track here because, of course, Istanbul is going to be up. Okay, Antoine, thank you for that valuable information. I think it's funny that you don't pay your crew after you get them on board. You're just like, come on on board. Here's some food. Uh, it gave you 50 gold, and I own you for life now. Yep. Who's a good boy? Who wants some food scraps? Yeah. If they ever talk back, you just drop it down to 80%. All right. Um, come on, Istanbul's got to be around here somewhere, yeah? We might have to go up in the... To the right here. Yeah, here we go. Come on, we're gonna stop in Istanbul. Is that okay? I would respond by saying, uh-huh. <laughs> so yes, the capital of Turkey, here we go. There'll be a king in here that we can deliver a note to for sure. That's what we were doing. I was like, why the hell are we going here? Oh, yeah, no. Um, <laughs> I forgot the captain. I forgot the captain. I forgot the king was like, oh, hey, you've been doing a great job beating up the Spanish. I could really use you to take this love letter over to the king of Istanbul for me. King of Turkey. Uh, I'm hoping that he'll be wife number six. We should check out the uh, black market once we. Yeah, over once here. we got a certain time. Who knows when we'll be back this way again. We should also probably check out the drinking establishments. See whether or not there are any more good mates around. Let's meet some mates. Oh, these are our mates. I'm not surprised there's nobody in here at all. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? It's it's a bar and we're in Istanbul, maybe they'll oh, drink around there. Yeah, they're all drinking like ward or something, like rose water. That's what's going on. I got it. Yeah, here they are. All right, so these are all guys I don't think that we're allowed to get, but Rashid Jabbar commands a battle fleet. Um, what have you heard? Fugundes was looking for a job in Valencia. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's literally nobody to hire here, just Walid. He commands a battle fleet. You want to come work for me? No. That's silly. Hmm. What have you heard? Santana is looking... Oh, Santana's looking for a job! After we <laughs> kicked his ass last time? <laughs> Santana's. Oh, we should go back to Tunis and see if we can hire Santana and be like, well, we know you're really good at uh, maneuvering those uh, merchant fleets around. Um, maybe not that great in combat, but uh, you could you could guide some of our food ships, maybe. That'd be yeah. good, right? One of them used to be yours. 
I apparently just really like to uh, taunt my uh, my opponents. All right. Oh wait, now, this was the hotel. That's where I need to go. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, good. It's not midnight yet, so if we uh, sleep here and set the alarm for 2 a.m., we won't lose a day, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Now, if we if we decide to, apparently the Crusader armor is actually better than Ur Earl's... Earl's plate? Plate. I am Earl's plate. Yeah. Um, I can't remember how expensive it is, though, but it's in Naples, which is kind of between us and home. I think it's too much for us to buy. I think it's like I think it's like twice what uh, Errol's plate cost. But let's see what's going on in here. For a limited time only, we are selling some really special items that you don't usually see. Ooh, what's it gonna be? I don't know. Is it Probably something I like. It's gonna be a scimitar. Okay. Okay. That's just a B. <laughs> That's a basic B. It's a great weapon for attacking. It's mainly used by Arabs and Persians on Arabs and Persians. <laughs> 8,000 gold pieces. I guess you can't argue with the value. Although you probably could anyway. Um, quadrant. Would you help so, me in any way? No. I found a interesting post online yes that so the the arrows plate gives us 85% of our stats is what it does and the crusader armor gives you 100% but also breaks down all the swords and stuff percentage of your stats how's that so like defense wise if you have a defensive stat um, if you have no armor on you get 30% of your defensive stat as your stat, and then as your armor gets better, it actually goes up to the, the maximum number. But then, as far as swords go, they have things like the rune blade that gives you 60% on every type of attack. And then when you get a crusader sword, it's like you get 100% of thrust attack, but if you use a strike, it's only worth 40% of the stat that you chose. It must be the, the stat you choose in the combat itself. Wow. So Like, uh, if you pick a 9 and you have 100%, it counts as a 9, but if you've got no weapon at all. It's only worth 20% of a 9. So, what you're saying is the rune blade is good. It's good overall, but if you get the crusader sword and you thrust a lot, <laughs> if you put your down down and thrust your pelvis, huh, then you get 100% of your, your attack off. Okay. And well, then the blue, the blue crescent, um, and apparently the bastard sword. Which is that? What we're using? No, we're using the claymore. We're using yeah, the, the claymore. claymore. It's all about strikes. So oh, so we should just be striking all the time. Pretty much, unless we're ninety-nine percent sure the guy's gonna block that way. Welcome, Knight Bane's. Please proceed to the royal hall. Oh my! You're this is to a very romantic you? kingdom. Yeah. Documents from King Henry? Wonderful! Thank Henry for me! I'm Giant Bearded Warrior King! <laughs> um, how you doing? Hurry back and give King Henry my vest. Okay. Hurry back and give King Henry my vest! Oh, yes, yes sir. <laughs> guess, guess we're going. Yep. Alright. So... I could try and buy, like, trade goods here and bring them back, but, um... Ooh, I should see what kind of ships they have for sale. That's true. You never know. They might have some Venetian gale asses. Probably yep. not, but... They have five used ships ready to sail. Dow! <laughs> this is the crappiest ship in the game. Would you like to buy it? Hey, man. I would take this, dock all of my other ships here, and then, like, go down the Amazon with, like, a crew of two guys. <laughs> You're like, I hope I don't get a single disaster this whole way. I don't know, rats, we're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
is the rat disaster. <laughs> no, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are all gonna be a little lame. Yep. Oh, that's okay. I mean, good on them, though, for having nice, simple ships to uh, maneuver around. Good for everyone. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me. That's ooh, terrible. Alright, so, we could get some trade goods, or I almost think it would be more worth our time to completely load up the hull, get as long an individual trip as possible. Yeah. And, uh... Well, we'll start running lower on food once we get closer to Spain, and then we might have a uh, target in sight. Target acquired. Yeah, so that'd be good to acquire a target. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead. And we can get more sailing experience by being out for a longer span of time. That's Later, true. Maybe we'd be shoving off. All right. We're going to supply. I do think it's kind of funny that it doesn't... Um it doesn't let you level up from being at, like, while you're at sea. You can't be, like, floating along, and then someone's like, you know what, I've gotten, my, I've gotten pretty good, used to this now. It's always just like, hey, we've been at sea for three years, and you land at port, and he's like, I leveled up 18 times yesterday. Yep, that's pretty much how it goes. Wow, that is going to be a hearty chunk of our money there. Yep. You be shoving off. The king's not even going to pay us for this either, he's... Yeah. Why would he? We can sail for 20 days. I should be cast off. I guess we're gonna go. Commodore, we're gonna stop in Istanbul. No, I insist we stop in Istanbul. I know we just left, but I left my heart there. In San oh, man, the wind in this area. So, yeah, this is not what I wanted. This isn't what I ordered, game. Let's I wanted see. to go sailing, but not like this. Not this way. There we go. Now we're the winds that were fighting us on our way here the first time. We're being a little friendlier. Yeah, I suppose at the very least I could sail along here and look for some new ports. Gain some port finding fame. Is that a giant boot? I don't know about boots. What's a boot? <laughs> Alright, we got the port of Ragu. It's gonna be delicious and saucy. Really? There's there's no port in there? That looks Look. like the perfect place for a perfect port. It's a trap. It is a trap. What is that what is that port though? It's up there. Oh, you're gonna make me go back. Oh hey, who are you? Are you Spanish? Oh, Dutch. <laughs> Look at his little eyebrows there. He's got them all arched like, Haha, I knew you thought I was going to be Spanish, but take yeah. this. It's my Dutch heritage. <laughs> uh, all right, come on. All right, now. Although we wouldn't actually be able to even see this port, if it weren't already discovered from us at this distance, we'll be able to look at it and be like, Hey, Commodore, that's Venice, mate. Alright, so... That's where that's where that sword is. Well, well how much that does armor it cost? Is. I don't know. Let me... I can, I can quickly find out. Oh, he's gonna quickly find out, folks. In the meantime, I'm gonna look at the amount of money I have. I'm almost positive we don't have enough money. But you'd hate to have enough and then just lose it. Well, it's six hundred thousand. How much? Well, that's like sixty ingots, isn't it? I believe Man. that is sixty ingots, and we have fewer than ten at the moment. Man. What do I do? Oh, wow, I can't even look at my ingots right now. I know we have like nine Plus ingots. Nine. We have eight. Oh well, it's a, it's a dream. It is a dream. Just a dream to Like me. we actually need 38 ingots to get our sword that we want even. So hopefully we... That ship disappeared too. 
What this uh, shit? Do you know what? I I think that it was, it may be a artifact of being played over the internet. Oh, that's possible. This is a Dutch merchant fleet. He's set toward the north. Speed of six knots. We've got maybe another week at sea. Uh, another six days at sea. Although we have more food than water, are they drinking the water faster? Or can we just stop and grab some water on the side of this Italian coast? We can do whatever we want. Let's see. Maybe I shouldn't push it. Well, there's another port right here. Why don't I push it? Push, push it, it to it the real limit. good. Ah. Uh, we weren't we weren't in Zapatico on that at all. No, we had all different <laughs> song references for that. Hey, we're gonna stop in Marseille. Hey man, your navigation level seamanship went up. And that's navigation level and leadership went up. My navigation and leadership went up, and that's a surprise to everybody. <laughs> so there you go, he does level up by being first mate. Well, he's getting all sorts of new life experiences, so... Yes, this is the first man. I gotcha. What's in here? Maybe there's cool ships. Brings you to this shipyard. Hope it's not... <laughs> Ooh, sorry. Bless you. I hope... Oh, huh, thank you. I hope it's not looking for cool ships, because we don't have any of those. That's a smooth handling ship right there. Carabell Latina. Uh, okay, that's pretty much the same ship, just yeah. a different name. Hunsakog. It doesn't stack up. It was first built about two centuries ago. I mean, really, guys. And this, and this and it was uh, this game were already far in the past. <laughs> yeah, in in this game we're already far in the past. And this game was set in a period that was far in the past from when the game was, so... <laughs> it's layers upon layers upon layers of old. Yeah. Because this game is 15, 20 years old at this point. Oh man, now I'm feeling my age. Oh man, I, I apologize. I shouldn't have mentioned <laughs> how uh, this game is the age that it is. All right. um, I shouldn't have said facts. What was I thinking? <laughs> I should have just, you know, spouted a bunch of rubbish. If no, only I talked more rubbish. For once in time ever, talking rubbish was the right answer. It was time to start talking rubbish. Ooh, Cesaro. Cesaro Fidelity. Cesaro Fidelity. I want to make an investment in Cesaro Fidelity. <laughs> You know, I like to think that due to the cropping of this portrait, we're not really seeing the whole picture. And he's actually just got, like, a, a, a black uh, bottle or peg or something like that that he's just resting his chin on. <laughs> he's got that set on the table, and he's just resting his chin on something. Oh, there, matey. For the high seas. I'm a vagabond sailor. I wonder what sort of skills he has. I, I don't. I just want to treat the hell out of this guy. I wonder if this means he has no skills to speak of since he's not. Oh, there we go. He has a knack for leadership. I'm really tempted to take Cesaro with us. I think we should. I mean, if the price is right. Man, come on, Cesaro. Hey, would you like to join our crew for the next voyage? Oh, man, <laughs> that price is the right, is right price. Come with me. It's a deal, Commodore. Oh, man, he bit the right price without going over. <laughs> yeah. Over the absolute minimum that characters will take in this <laughs> game. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's make sure and give him a job right away. Well, let's get his info first. How useless is this guy we just picked up? It's pretty damn useless. But look how good his exclamation point is. 
Whoa, 80! And he's totally loyal to piracy. Yes, That's he almost is almost the same as privateering. He should fit in okay. Yeah, you should be all right. I'm, I'm the big fan of Cesaro, the king of swing. If he's loyal to piracy, I wonder if recently his fleet was destroyed and that's why he's at... <laughs> That'd be good. I could accept that. Alright, so... He doesn't have any skill for it, but I think I'm going to make him my chief navigator. Fair enough. I'll probably level up pretty quick. Yeah. You've been at sea for one day! Oh my gosh, I never knew you pulled the ropes! This is amazing! I'm learning so much! You mean the ships go where you point the sails? That's astounding! <laughs> Alright. Cesaro. I mean, you're gonna do I'm all right. the piracy, but I've never been to sea. <laughs> yeah, no. Basically what he means is that he uh, he torrents movies and illegally downloads games with CD <laughs> cracks. Alright, so... I'm wondering if I should actually make him my first mate. And uh, make Alonzo the uh, chief navigator because he has way more navigation skill now. I don't think chief navigator matters too much unless you're actually going to use them for chief navigating rather than just sit there and level up. So, wait, will he even level up as a chief navigator? I think so. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, we'll be just fine. I would imagine if we tried to put him on a ship now, um, we wouldn't move. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Just going in a circle. What are you doing? Move your rudder. What's the rudder? Are you are are you telling me to move my ass? I really don't understand. <laughs> All right. Are there any more crazy sailors over here? Nope. Just our dudes. Our dudes could pretty much dominate a, uh, a port these days. I suppose I should rest until 2 a.m. and see what the uh, unique good is here. Yeah, it's a good time to leave port too, you know? Yeah, 2 in the morning, sure. You get, uh, get out ahead of the crowds. Yeah, and every time you pass a different moored ship, you go like, Oh, I guess we're just ships passing in the night, and everyone laughs and pokes each other's ribs. It's great. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that is pretty good. Except Cesaro is like, I don't get it. What are you talking about? <laughs> I love how every new crew member turns out to be, like, apparently the stupidest guy ever. <laughs> For a limited time only, uh, yada yada, you know what's going on. You came in the door. And a stock. Mm, all right. He stands higher... for bad for us to use. Ah, I would poke you in the rib too, except uh, you know Skype. <laughs> except my arms aren't that long. Ah, that's true. I can't reach from here all the way back to London. If I could, I would get Henry the Eighth to uh, give me some money. <laughs> it's like here's. <laughs> let me pass that note back. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I have like Stretch Armstrong hands. That's actually probably really good because it was only jointed at the elbow. <laughs> <laughs> Just knocking things over constantly. Like whole think, cities. Yeah, so to say things like houses. Crazy arms. <laughs> yes. The problem is I have to keep my arms straight up most of the time, or else I'm just gonna like knock over things. And as it is, when I do that it starts to burn up in the atmosphere. <laughs> I have a really complicated life. <laughs> Alright, let's you know what? That might be a good note to end on. <laughs> Let me go ahead and uh, fill up the ship. Um, fill up... Uh, I don't know that it actually matters. I'm just now in the habit of filling up um, meat and agua with uh, their respective things. Now, the reason we might be having different uh, consumptions of meat and water are that we're actually taking less water with us every time. Because we have 36 lumber and 32, yeah, 36 uh, lumber in this ship. I don't know. No, I there was a larger difference than that, but I don't think that it was. Yeah, no, I, I think you're right. I think, I think something else is at play here. Yeah, because we're still filling up with roughly the same amount of everything. Oh man, one ingot and a half. Yeah, we're down to le we're down to less than five ingots now. We gotta find some Spaniards. 
We're gonna go with trolling for Spaniards. That's a lot of, um... It's almost pirate. Halloween! <laughs> That's almost Halloween. What are you going for as Halloween? Or what are you going for as Halloween? Yeah, I'm going <laughs> as the... like, I'm going to dress up as a pirate. But aren't you a pirate? No, I'm a privateer! No. <sighs> What are you going as Halloween? Yeah, I'm going as that um, that jack-o'-lantern that's on the cover of Halloween. <laughs> and I gotta wear a box around my head that says Halloween on the top in orange letters. Alright. So, I guess on those notes, uh, we'll go ahead and call this one a video. And when we come back next time, maybe we'll find some Spaniards and maybe Cesaro will get the chance to fail at captaining his own vessel. That'd be nice. Until then, though, this is Bobo the Vulture. And I'm Zerfall. This is Let's Play Together, even though it's a one-player game. Uncharted Waters, New Horizons, Otto Baines' story. Thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.